Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com and just over my shoulder is Nick Jaspi and he's on the top cam right there getting this big long break opened up and get a head start on this. Um, it's 2020 Tops Update Baseball. A brand new release, just dropped today. The double header is a hobby case and a jumbo case for a total of 18 boxes. 12 boxes in the hobby, eight, uh, 6 boxes in the jumbo to make 18. There was also an early bird special. So if you're one of the first 16 right here, to get in, you got a chance at an early bird spot, an extra spot. So let's do the randomizer for that. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a two, eight times. Name on top after eight. Two, three, four. Good luck. Eighth and final time. Name on top after eight is Kyle Olson. There you go, Kyle. Thanks for being an early bird. There you are. Now you get an extra spot in this break. Now let's copy all those names again. Put them into a new list right here. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in our filler break. That's in a separate video. Thanks everyone for, uh, for getting into that. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a three. Two and a one. Three times. Two and a one makes three. One, two, and three. After three times, we got Frank down to Barry. Do you want to put him in there? Um. Alright, and after, once again, two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. After three times, we got the Twins down to the Rays. Now we'll leave the video running because Nick's opening up packs. Let me know if there's any trades. Frank with the Twins and the Nats. Nick, you got my Dodgers. Thomas has my rivals, the Giants. Frank with the Marlins. Courtney with the Yankees. Nice. Anthony with the A's. Kyle, your early bird spot, the Cardinals. Chris with the Diamondbacks. Kyle with the Brew Crew. Joe M with the Tigers. Jeff with the Padres. Frank with the Mariners. Carlos with the Astros. Matthew with the Red Sox. Eric J with the Braves. Courtney with the Phillies. Arturo with the O's, Daniel, last spot, Mojo, Angels. Arturo also has the Pirates, William, Indians, Tyler Brenner, Rangers, Kyle with the Cubs, Derek with the Reds, Matt with the White Sox, Matthew Stubblefield with the Blue Jays, Derek with the Mets, Dom with the Royals, Donnie with the Rockies, and Barry with the Tampa Bay Rays. Chris has the Diamondbacks up for trade if anybody's interested. Phillies for Nats maybe as well. That's for Team Bishop. I think Frank is in the chat. Let's see if he's interested in that. Center these up, and if anybody, if that's a little too small, let me know, and I can uh, I can zoom back in to see to show you your teams. Rangers are also up for trade. I think group break checklist has a group break checklist up. There is in the chat if you want to consult that as we go through the break. I, I, I might need it too for certain things. What are, we, what are we looking for in this? All the usual rookies, some inserts, short prints, numbered cards. Some pretty good stuff. Frank wants to hold on to his teams. Anyone for the Rangers? Otherwise, we will move on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. What's the special on this update? The, it's the usual draft class though, right? Some updated stuff, maybe ours or any on the Rays kind of kind of situation. Okay, that's usually what update. The update value over the years, folks, have been. You can just tell by looking at some of the repack products, where you see a lot of graded update cards in there. There's a reason for that. The value's been been creeping up. I'm assuming Teddy has personals of this stuff. Teddy has plenty of personals, so this might work a little bit better as personals, but. So Teddy will actually be live for a little while, ladies and gentlemen, much longer than us here on the main channel for tonight. So uh, get into it, folks. You can go hang out with Teddy and get some uh, personal boxes of this. Looks like no deals. Trade window going once. Unless Frank is swayed by, that's swayed by the Yankees for Nats offer. 
Um, they're Nationals fans too, Amber and Courtney. That one I will do. Okay, good, see? All right, so there is a trade. Team Bishop out of the Yankee spot. And now that is for Frank. We'll put a little T there for trade if we want to see what happens there. Then we can put Courtney and Amber into the Nationals spot right there. Let's print and rip. Trade window closed. Let's see how that trade works out. Hopefully well for both parties involved. TWC trade window closed. Expand the Nick Cam just a tad bit so you can see what's going on there. All right, so here's the final printout. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. There's a box and the, there's the Mojo Refractors right there. Those are from the exclusive packs which look like which look like that. Is it how how hard is it to spot variations? You have any idea? Um, I yeah, guess I mean, I was, it's like the normal like cheap photos and stuff. Yeah, we'll be able to figure it out. It's like when they're walking around the All-Star Right. And it's usually in the insert slot. All right, we got a Steven Strasburg relic from the 2017 MLB All-Star game. So uh, Bishop on the board. Oh, good. Variations are usually flipped around. Thank God. Thanks, Tops. Courtney draws first blood in the trade. Good. Yeah, and if we if we miss any, then our shipping team usually checks the codes on the back. It's only veteran commons that don't ship. Rookie cards obviously will ship, and variations will ship. We got that. There we go. There's Jarrell Cotton to 220 to 2020 for the Cubs. Was he on the A's at some point? Kyle Lewis, he might win Rookie of the Year. Got that refractor as well. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners, that'll be for Frank. Look at that. That's got to be a variation, right? That's for the Orioles. That'll go to Arturo. What's the code on the back? Code on the back. The end in 1588? Yeah, 1588. Oh, that's a base. That's just a base? Yeah. Boo. <laughs> I wish it was a variation then. I 
I think these all-star game cards are considered um, parallel, so those will ship. It's just that won't ship. You know what I mean? This guy won't ship. Mike Trout won't ship. Trout sliding is all-star. That will ship. So it's veteran commons that won't ship, but a lot of these are uncommon. So I think they'll eventually, most of this will ship. We'll get it, even if you don't get any hits per se, should be a decent, most of you should get a decent stack of stuff, I think. These are really mostly for the rookies anyhow. And here's, that's, so that's a variation. They are flipped, that's nice. Right, ends in like six three one. There you go. Thanks, Toss. That's a big help. That'll go to the Tigers, Joe M. And out of 2020, 1272 out of 2020 is Alex Bregman, Astros. That'll be for Carlos. We have anything else going on TV? I only have Miami, North Carolina. It was actually kind of a close one. After too many sports, now we're just like, oh, I guess I'll just have to watch Miami and North Carolina State. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a sport, I guess. Fernando Tatis Jr., 7 out of 25. That's a nice one for uh, the Padres, Jeffrey S. The game lasted like a month. A month long game. All right, this is the second box. Uh, I think there are autos, but they're not in they're not in every box. One autograph or relic in every hobby box. I think jumbos might have more stuff. But yeah, this is this is a lot like a lot like uh, well, it's the update to series one. So really, it's mostly about you know, getting cards like this. You know what I mean? The 24 out of 50 Zach Davies for the Padres. All right, so that's updated from when he was when he was traded. That goes to uh, Jeffrey S. And I think like Ro Randy Arozarena and his Rays gear, I haven't seen any yet, but we're looking for that. These are all about the rookie cards. Try to get those graded out, see how they look. I don't think I've seen any of any like Luis Roberts or anything like that. Jumbo has more stuff, maybe that's what Town is saying. Hobby. Jumbo has one auto and two relics. We'll see a little more action in the uh, in the jump. We're gonna get this hobby out of the way first. It's Max Scherzer. Yeah, I don't know how loaded it is this here. Really, the chase is these rookie cards. I'm trying to look for some of the top rookies here, but the, the guys called out. chase, yeah. 
But I think the price point kind of reflects that's a little bit friendlier, I think. Yeah, it usually be like 150 Yeah. So, so the price point's a little friendlier. Yeah, this this is one of the one they of the. Joe Adele for series yeah, one. exactly. There's Corey Seeger, Relic. Who gets carpal tunnel first? Definitely me. Maybe Nick? I already have it, I think. You already have it? I play video games a lot, too. All right. Your hands might be looser, then. No, it makes it worse. You think it makes it worse? Do you have, like, pain, like, right here? Yeah. All of my fingers are also worn. Oh, no, that's not good. Yeah. You got, you, you, we, need a, we need an ice tub here. We need just ice after, after games. I need a massage therapist. I would love that. Let's get a massage therapist here. There's Jesus Lazardo with the blue border flipped around. Nice. That goes to the A's. That'll be for Anthony. Five. Starlin Castro. I don't know, Matt. I, I've been doing this for, we've been doing this for a little while. We don't have serious carpal tunnel yet. There's Cameron Mabin to 220 for the Tigers. That's going to go to Joe M. Arozarena right there. I thought, I, I thought I saw a white sock, but I don't think it was Luis Robert. I think Robert's just going to be a insert. Just going to be an insert? Yeah. The first to go is your thumb? I do have a little a little bit of soreness right here in my thumb. That goes to the Rays. That's Rays edition, Barry Roberts. Why is the first one to go your thumb? Yeah, why is it the why is it the thumb? Because that's what you use the most? I guess. Do you use your thumb more than your index finger? Maybe. I don't know. Let's cut one off and see how much it affects you. There's a box. There's a box. Or half a box. Here's the other half. There's another box. Yeah, like your pinky or your thumb. That's what you were asking. I'd much rather, no, I was saying index finger. Oh, yeah, index finger? Pinky you could cut off today and I wouldn't ever notice. I think you would. I think you'd notice. Pinky is worthless. All that sorting is giving you anxiety? Well, you don't have to sort this. Someone's gonna have to sort it though, not me. Unless that's, uh, one of, one of oh, unless that's an employee. <laughs> that's because Carpal Tunnel knows that the pinky is worthless. It starts. <laughs> it starts with the thumb, and then, then travels to the forearm, 
and carpal tunnel won't go into the pinky. So that Nick's a doctor. Nick's right. Matthew Medlin, are you are you a doctor, some sort of physical therapist? Chiropractor. Yeah, we we could use one in house. I love, people give chiropractors a hard time. I think they're legit. I don't know. Some doctors, some, some doctors just say they're they're like quacks. Yeah. Artists, yeah. So. I don't agree with that. I think that. They're good in their own way. I've been to a chiropractor a few times. Yeah. There's Randy Arzarania. That's fine. Yeah, I'd much rather have my second finger than my thumb. I don't know. Thumb's kind of important. Thumb is important. Ooh, look at that. New York Yankees Ichiro. With a Derek Jeter commemorative patch of some sort. There you go, final season commemorative patch. Yeah, I, this is manuf. It's it's a manufactured patch. It says so right here. Still looks cool. That goes to the Yankees. That'll be for Frank. Yeah, Robert was in series two, so he won't be in this other than inserts and autos and stuff. Gotcha. Uh, I think Aquino has a debut card in this. Um, Jordan probably won't be in here, I don't think, unless an insert. All right, and all those inserts Lux will ship anyway, so. That's right, Lux was in Series 1. So really, Aros are in his new Rays uniform. That's his top. The card, yeah. All right. Used to work at a shop, sorting does get tedious, yeah. It, it, it does. Thankfully, there's enough different things that are out, different kinds of products, so I think it keeps the keeps it kind of various variety enough. If our team if our team had to just do this <laughs> seven days a week, I don't think they'd be very thrilled about that. We've got a good rotation working here, too. Now that our now that our shop is open to the public, um, from 11 to 6, Monday through Saturday, and sometimes they take turns working the floor, too, so try to limit that sorting uh, burnout as much as we can. Is Dave Winfield, Padres edition, Jeff. That's what they said. Supposed to be some rain. I don't know how much rain. When it rains in California, it just it just like drizzles for an hour or two and then stops and drizzles. A centimeter? What is that? Three milli How many millimeters in a centimeter? I don't know. Ten? hundred? Something 50? like that. No less. Twenty? Ten. I think it goes by I think it goes by ten. So we'll have three millimeters and they'll be like shutting down. And <laughs> yeah, they would. It's like cars just smashing well, into each York, other. I sometimes I, I went to school sometimes when there was two feet of snow on the ground. Wow, you walked uphill both I ways. Had to to, I had to walk to the bus station, and that was at yeah. the way end of the hill. Dwight Gooden to two ninety nine. Sometimes there'd be kids who wore shorts in the winter. Wow, below freezing. And what, they just get sick and not go to school the no, next I week? No, I think they were just like, it's crazy. I just wanted to wear shorts. I'm sure I did sometimes too. It's wacky. The worst is shoveling them, or uh, scraping the ice off your windshield. Yeah, that sounds terrible too. What do you What do you, you use? Cut your window sometimes. You use this thing, it's like a pickaxe, and you just cut at it. It's got a what? blade on the end, and you scrape your Sound, it's kind of satisfying if you do it like once, but then you get over it. 
But what if you... Don't you, like, wouldn't you scratch your windows? I guess it's, like, scratch-proof. I saw this pile of those. All of these will shit, but I'll try to catch as much as possible. And you just... And you're scratching the ice, not the window. I've never seen one of those things before. I don't even can't even visualize it in my head. I feel like maybe I saw it in a movie. Where someone's trying to use something to scratch stuff off the window. Now they probably have heated uh, things. And Travis Shaw to seventy six. You know, like heated things. Oh, like yeah, some, something that off. yeah. Car technology. They didn't have that in our Astro van. Back in the day? No. No, Nick actually grew up in New York, or went to high school in New York, so he has all that snow experience and experiencing his hatred of Giants fans because he's an Eagles guy. Um, Yankees. And Yankees fans too. Now, uh, I was born in Ohio, northeast Ohio, and my my family moved to, my parents moved down to Southern California when I was really little, so I'm pretty much a California, Southern California. There's Joe Girardi with the Jeter manufactured relic there. It's another one for Franklin and the Yankees. No idea what they go for, but I'm sure I don't know how. I don't think Joe Girardi's blowing the blowing up the market, but I'm sure with the right player, those could be pretty cool. Ones. There's another Auto Zarenia going to uh, Barry Roberts. Eric J saying all the East Coasters, yeah, scraping off the windshield so when you're late to work, yeah. So what do you do, you guys, does everyone just, you just set aside like 20 minutes at the beginning of your day to be like, I gotta scrape, when I gotta. No, it's not 20 minutes, but it's just a hassle because you gotta stand out in the cold and it's Do just you have like, to like. And it's usually at like seven. Do you have to morning. start your car and like warm it up and stuff? Yeah, you gotta do that. Because when you get in the you're car, it must be freezing. You're not supposed to drive right away because that's bad for your engine. Wow. I think they say that here too, but. That's a lot of stuff to think about. And then you gotta get, you know, if, if depending on where you live, maybe snow tracks on your tires. Snow tracks? Like the, uh, or else your car is gonna be slipping and sliding. Oh man, you gotta get different tires? You have to change you tires? Get snow tires. That's just, that's wild. Well, that felt different. Oh yeah, that's to 99. Shovel the driveway, you gotta do that. Man. Salt the roads. They salt the roads there a lot. All right. Sure, Josh. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. For Matt Stubblefield. I mean, at some point, this is, <laughs> this is an 18 box break. We can't really sleeve everybody. Then this break will take like four hours. So we'll do as much as we can. But our shipping team will uh, take care of it. Matthew Stubblefield has shot with us for many years, so he knows that we take care of the cards. He knows it's going to be fine, but thanks for looking out for him. All right, next box. Snow days are cool, though. That's the best part. Are are teachers even sympathetic out there? Are they are, are they just like you should have been yeah, on time? They don't want to drive there either. Probably they don't want to go on the board. Uh, maybe tomorrow, Josh. Maybe a geet day, guitar day tomorrow. Yeah, sh you got to shovel driveways too. C Shep is saying, man, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna hate us in about a month or two when we're like complaining about how it dropped to sixty degrees. And then, you know, you'll be, you'll hear me complain about the cold, and you're like, Joe, you sob. 
I shoveled my driveway. I had to ice my, I de-ice my windshield somehow. I had to put on the snow tires. You know, like. Yeah, there is a lot more uh, entrepreneurial opportunities. At least on the East Coast compared to here, because like not a lot of people have lawns, so you can't mow lawns here. I mowed lawns. I mean, where you live. But I'm yeah, saying, yeah, like, yeah. In, uh, LA, in the city, yeah. County. Like, like no one in Torrance has to. Yeah. No one in Manhattan Beach has to mow lawns. Yeah. So it's not, it's not that much. That. Um, I've never seen lemonade stands here. Well, I've seen lemonade stands. Um, I've seen lemonade stands. They're around. And then yeah, shoveling and stuff. What was that one year, Matt Medlin? When Atlanta got a little bit of snow, and then like people were just like abandoning cars and stuff like that. Nice, Josh is shoveling na neighbors' driveways after a blizzard and getting enough money for your first hobby box. That's nice. Here's Yachty. That goes to Kyle Olson and the Cardinals. Snowpocalypse, yeah, it was crazy. I remember watching that in on, on the news out here on the West Coast, and I was just like, there's a whole line of cars in the free that the people have just abandoned until like the snow plows came the next day. Crazy. You guys, don't, you guys don't have to deal with deal with ash and wildfires. You brought this one out here. I'm going with my picked up. Oh, okay. I didn't bring that. I think Jason brought it out here. Weird. He didn't bring a hobby. Right. I think you realized maybe it wasn't selling out. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Kyle Lewis, and we've got That's a, a spot, Ryan Howard. What? Buffalo spot. Everyone's talking about it. Are we going to get Buffalo spot? You got Buffalo spot, Thomas? Yeah. Wow. This is the best thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh, boy. I hear it every week. <laughs> I just want to have some. Buffalo! Spot. Chipper uh, rescued Freddy. <laughs> what? Did he? Chipper Jones took his four wheeler out and we're bringing people home and rescued Freddy Freeman? It's pretty nice. It's nice of him. Didn't he save someone? Didn't Chipper Jones save someone from like a, a wildfire out in the countryside where he lives? Just like saving lives left and right. That's got to be pretty great. Um, if you're uh, if you're like stuck in the snow, and like someone knocks on your window, you know, and you look up and it's oh hi, Braves legend Chipper Jones. And it's like good old Chipper, Chip off the old block, leans into your, you know, roll down the little bit and be like, hey, Chip. And he's like, you need a ride? And be like, yeah, let me grab my stuff. That'd be awesome. Out of 2020, we got Tyler Hyman. Right, Chip, can you sign some of these cards before we hop on the old mobile? They made a bobblehead out of Chipper and Freddy on the four wheeler. Yeah. So there's uh, Luis Robert from the exclusive pack and the Mojo Refractor. Are these all, these are all uh, Hob? This box is going to move back there. This box is going to move right here. And 
There's a box. There's a box. There's a box. There's a box. I think I could get that one on the table too. Aches? Is that going to show up? I think your camera's blocking it. Your camera's blocking aches. I got to put it right there so you can see. You can see the those stacks they, on the bottom right see, there. They see like this space. So they, unless a ghost comes, you know. Right. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Unless, unless a like ghost a, comes and we have a little someone like Mission Impossible, they wear animal crane that, or the uh, the guy from right. Ocean's Eleven who does the circus thing trick. Have you seen Ocean's Eleven? No. Oh, oh like, the first one? Yeah, the Asian person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was like, it was in like a box, and then, yeah. and then like we they pop him out. Up, like, yeah, if he ninjas his way down here, he can't seal cards off the table, even if it's blocked. Ocean Twelve is so bad. Oh, nice! Everyone I'll check that out. Three. You don't know how that? That's Nick Jaspi. Put some respect on his name, Josh. Twelve is one of the worst uh, ones I've ever seen. I think I only saw the first. I think the other ones were like not good, weren't they? Ocean's 13, I like. Is that the one with Al Pacino? Yeah. Okay, that one I think He's I like. He's like Steve Wynn, basically. Yeah. 12 is when they go to France or something. Didn't Andy Garcia end up in those movies too? Yeah, he's in all of them. Oh. He's the guy they brought in the first place. The yeah, that's Nick Jaspi. I'm Joe Jaspi. There's Jason Jaspi, Sean Jaspi, Teddy Jaspi. All part of the Jaspi family. There's Aristides Aquino, variation. No, we have not seen an auto. I don't think the autos are too common in, in the hobby editions. I think Nick's ripping the, the jumbos right now, so I think we should see some more ink in there. There could be an auto one that's silver. Oh yeah, there could be autos in the the silver packs too. We've been mostly seeing relics like this. Miguel Cabrera to one ninety nine for the Tigers. Yeah, I think it's like some sort of superhero I'm show, really right? I think Ted tried to get me on that that train too. Maybe he wants I feel like to about I feel like there's too many. He should just watch Mandalorian. Yeah, well, he says that's nerdy. But it's nerdy, but then he watches shows about about teenage superheroes. Yeah. Okay. The Boys is dark, very sinister. Oh. oh I don't like that. Wow, Boys is one of the best shows you've seen in a while, says Josh. Wow. We're on the wrong side, Nick. <laughs> We're on the Mandalorian side. It sounds like that's the wrong side. Uh, did they see last night's episode of Mandalorian? <laughs> Obviously no. not. Snow and Aaron out at the All Star game. <laughs> no, Mando's whack this season? I yeah, I don't first... like it as much, but it's just getting warmed up. Yeah, I feel like the, the first two episodes. We're last just uh, we're just setting up. It's just set up, set up, set up. Last year, the first few episodes weren't that good because there's no Baby Yoda. So like, right. Forget what. Episode two, maybe. Yeah, three. All right, so we'll I think it's, it's a lot like last year. I think it's just a little slow burner. They gotta set up a lot of stuff, and then and then blow minds. I trust in that uh, John Favreau team and Dave Filoni. There's the Eck, decades best. I trust in their uh, their storytelling abilities. Dave Filoni did uh, Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels, so those had some great great arcs. I'll give them the the uh, the benefit of yeah, the doubt. Yeah, he hasn't really done much this season, but he'll he'll get there. 
I was complaining last year that Baby Yoda was doing nothing. I said he, he better start doing something. Yeah, they listened. They heard. They heard Nick. And then, and then he was, he was, he was doing eating. gravity force chokes. And stuff eating frog week. legs. Yeah, Eric J's on top of it. Says the boys is good too. What network is that on? But yeah, I don't think he's done any. Um, he hasn't passed out this season, you know? Yeah, he hasn't used the force. No. Let's see. Just hungry. <laughs> Gobbling up those eggs. Boys is on Amazon Prime. All right, I, I have that. I'll have to give that a go. Yeah, that's that's a uh, recommended show by a lot of people to me. Brian Peebles. Yeah, the first uh, first episodes of Mandalorian kind of like a little some, some side quests. Yeah, the first one was like a spaghetti western type. Thing. Well, they'll get to the, they'll get to the good stuff. I'm sure. Had um, the guy from the office in it. I th I liked the first episode. Danny Cordray. They had. Yeah, I wasn't familiar with that that person. She that played really that worked. played Cobb. And had Have both. Have you ever seen Justified? No. I don't. I don't. I don't watch a lot of. Is that a television show? Yeah, you don't watch anything. I don't. I, TV. I don't watch. Yeah, I don't watch TV. Man, Mandalorian is the only TV I watch. I just don't like that there's no end to it, that it could just potentially go on forever. Or get canceled. Or get canceled. I want Mandalorian to just stop after like three or four seasons. Just leave it at that. that. I want like actual beginnings and ends. Otherwise, you just get lost. Like the show Lost. I don't agree. Well, yeah, and and, Lost was terrible. And then just, that was just, never a good show to begin it just drags on for like, first season was great, but it just drags on for like years and then it's just like, they don't know what to do. Imagine if like, imagine if Friends was like three or three to five seasons that fewer than good, what it was. No. No, one would no, but then all the other, all the friends just pair off and they just have to go through all those, uh, you know, this season, now Joey and Monica are going to hook up and now next season's Joey and Chandler. And I don't know if there was ever a Joey and Chandler, but you know what I mean. I mean, if it kept going, it might have gone to that. Three seasons and a movie and a ride at Disney. Yeah, exactly. The towns, that's how they should do it. Just but a you few seasons. Watch, like, you didn't watch like Breaking Bad, right? No, I didn't. I didn't want to deal with all. There's too many seasons at that point now. Aren't there no, like ten like seasons? Six seasons? I feel like it's like ten. It's I, ten. I watched the series finale. That was good enough for me. And then, did you watch El Camino? No, that's a, that's. I don't watch all the shows. No, it's a movie. It's a movie. It was the ending of Breaking Bad. Oh no, I didn't see that. Last year. I'll, I'll watch that. I watched movie Fargo, not TV Fargo. 1996 movie Fargo? T yeah, yeah. I don't, I've never seen it. You've never seen it? Movie Fargo is pretty good. I've seen Fargo, the TV show with the uh, TV Fargo Bad I've News not. Bears guy. No, TV, TV Fargo I've name? not. Steve Buscemi? No, Bad News Bears remake. Bad News Bears remake. Keanu Billy Reeves? Dean, some, Billy Dean, Billy D. Williams? I think that's Lando. He's also in... Um, He's got three names. So Ace. Yeah. Yeah, D. Porter saying Movie Fargo is top five. Yeah, Movie Fargo is pretty good. Can someone tell me the guy's name? Bad News in, Bears. In TV Raven. Fargo? No. Yeah, season one. Well, it's like a... Anyone have an answer for Nick Jaspi? The Fargo, the TV show, I think they do different... Thing every season. Adam Plutko? Oh. Like True Detective. Right. Wait, did I not do these parts? You're just hiding here. Oh, no, maybe I did. Billy Bob Thornton. You think of that for me? Oh, Billy Bob Thornton. I met him in Vegas one time randomly. What? Yeah, I met a... At a, He's in Fargo. at a small Mexican restaurant in Mandalay Bay near the aquarium. Did you just go and say hi? I said hi, yeah. What's going on? It's Justin Verlander. He was pretty nice. He was by himself. He's at an aquarium? No, he was at a restaurant near the aquarium. Inheritance on Amazon Hill. Okay, the, 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 the shark adventure? Yeah. yeah, I think so. I saw the new circle opened up. Oh, yeah. Does it look cool? Yeah. Is that it's outdoor COVID, area? It's, right now, but it's, 
It's a little Cody. Yeah, the outdoor area is pretty sick. It's like with, with that with the huge TV. Yeah, and the pool. Is it like did it look as advertised? It looks as advertised. Hmm. The best thing would be if they put a sports book uh, outside kiosk out there. Yeah. Oh, there's no kiosk out there. I, I don't think I saw like a kiosk. Hmm. They gotta put a kiosk out there. But I guess everybody mobile bets now. So. Oh, you can just bet from. See that? Yes. I I could do that. You could be socially distanced in that outdoor pool area. Yeah. Carefully slide these out. So this is this is it for hobby, and then it's all jumbo. Jumbo is relatively to be a lot shorter than this. Nice, thank you, Nick. That's a huge help. I'm going home and watching Departed. You're gonna watch Departed? Yeah, I've never seen it. You've never seen it? No. It's pretty good. I started it, but then it. it you know, I've only seen like maybe one Jack Nicholson movie with. Um, him and Morgan Freeman, where they die. That was so sad. The bucket list? Yeah. What? You don't think that was a sad movie? I didn't know they died at the end. I think they did, right? Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any of... Oh, no, I saw the one with him and Adam Sandler. I've seen, like, his worst movies. No, I don't think of it. Well, <laughs> what's the Jack Nicholson movie? With Josh, this Sandler? this product is exactly oh, anger management. Anger management. This that. product is exactly how it should be. <laughs> if you were if you were expecting like Dynasty baseball out of this, no, that this is a very base heavy. We that's why we normally don't do very many group breaks of this. Actually, we do a lot of uh, this is a this is a much better personal box product. But we want to give the people a little bit of chance. To do that. There's Kyle Lewis. It's like a variation. No, yeah, this is not like Chrome at all. This, yeah, this is more like Series 1, Series 2. Update is an extension of that. And it's in the Series 1 family. So if your expectations coming into this, ladies and gentlemen, was, was Topps Chrome or Bowman Chrome Baseball, that is not the case. That's why I kind of wanted to get this done earlier, but that's all good. We got it. We got it in the books. Nick, can you do me a, one more favor? Can you scare up another monster box for me? Thanks. But the thing is, yeah, Prim's right. The the value in the in the update has has grown significantly over the years. Because if you see a lot of um, the like the Jaspies repack products or Hit Parade or Gold Rush and stuff like that, um, and there's Joey Votto for the Reds. You'll notice that a lot of those graded cards from Update are in those big high-end um, like repack products, and there's a reason for that because the value of it is great. Now, for entertainment value, like for us hanging out, <laughs> I mean, this is a good time for us to just chill and chat with each other. That's always the fun part of these long breaks. But yeah, if you're just popping in thinking, hey, let's let's see something exciting happen, this is not quite it. It's it's good in its own right. It's it's just a different kind of good. If you come in here thinking flawless or <laughs> something like that, it's National Treasures, that's not quite it. But it's fun though. You can kind of see spotting the variation here and there is pretty cool. You usually have some good photography in this set, so it's always nice to see. Like the different retro inserts and stuff are pretty cool. So no, this 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 is the this is definitely it is what this is. the jumbo packs back the jumbo boxes on the table actually above my head now are actually are pretty exciting too so we we'll have a little extra layer of excitement yeah exactly priming that's why we're getting the hobby out of the way first try to all these aros arrhenias will ship if in case i miss one but I'll try to catch as many of these as possible. Barry Roberts with the Rays.
All those refractors, of course, will ship. Just veteran commons, not Luis Robert, definitely. And that's Matt Medlin with the White Sox. All of these add up, Matt. I'm sure you know. You know, Matt knows. Matt knows what this is all about. He won that spot too and got randomized the White Sox. That's a that's a good deal. There he is, Matt. Yeah. I like this. I yeah, I like this too. There's kind of a there's sort of a nice therapeutic rhythm that goes that goes with this. Out of twenty twenty, that's Daniel Hudson for Washington. Give the shipping team, it's just the shipping and sorting team, an extra, an extra day or so to get this sorted and shipped out, ladies and gentlemen. So just I'm sure everyone kind of understands that. No, yeah, I don't. I don't think there'll. I don't think there'll be an auto. I don't think they're gonna be too common in this hobby stuff. Oh. How good are the Chargers, Jeff is asking. Yeah, I mean, their offense is really good. There's Chris Martin, the uh, the baseball player, not the not the front man for Coldplay, going to Eric J and the Braves. Thought there was one of each, one of what in Jumbo? Very far. I know. I, I, I have to journey to find this one too. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still we're still in hobby, Eric. Jumbo's right here. One, two, three, four, five, six boxes for the jumbo above my head. Yeah. I wasn't lying when I said this break takes a couple hours. The first hour will be hobby, and we're only about, or maybe hour and a half will be hobby. And then uh, Jumbo should actually go a little bit faster. I don't think there's any... Your, Lou Bob is Luis Robert, right? I'm assuming. Uh, I don't think there's any base for Luis Robert. I think he was in Series 1. Or 2, maybe. But I think we've, we've seen a lot of Luis Robert inserts. There's Miguel Cabrera. See, series two, maybe, yeah. This is some other series. There's Miguel Cabrera, Tiger's Relic for Joe M. I think so. I am actually. I'll, I'll be honest. With you, I'm not sure exactly what what gets what gets changed from series one to series two to update. 
That's to 2020, 100 pence. Chargers, sorry, Jeff Dorlack. Chargers, are they that are they that good? Their offense is good, but they their defense in the fourth quarter to the Broncos last week they they gave up like what twenty one points in that fourth quarter and they lost the game. I feel like they they've lost a lot of games by one score because of just some mistake or just bad coaching or defense not just not hanging on so yeah they must have been studying studying falcons on on film says matt medlin i don't know but there's a, there's a number of I feel like there were a f two or three games where they should have two or three more wins I think they should have two or three more wins but it just uh, they were just not not too good I don't know that that's a question for tops Josh unless someone knows why. There's uh, Ian Miller. Hey, are you are you guys going? To, are you going to get food? Can you give me a drink? Like a small Killer Creation, what up? Um, what kind of Killer Creations are you making? A seller on eBay offered 325 for a Lamella Ball Prism Prospect Auto. Should I do it? No. Yeah, only if you need the 325. Matt saying that's yeah, that's no. Was originally 399. You talked him down 325. Oh, you're the one buying it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Then yes. There's Charlie Blackman. He might be uh, he might be a n number one overall pick, or at least a top two pick, and probably uh, and probably end up being better than his brother.
There's Joey Bart. And there are a lot of people who collect just like those number one picks. If he's a number one pick. I mean, a lot of places are saying he's a number one or mocking him to be a number one pick. So that just automatically will give give that give whoever whatever player a boost in value. But just, I, but first of all, I would. I feel like that's a pretty good value off the top of my head. But I would just do your research and see what are some of the other ones selling for. And if you think you're getting a good deal out of it, then uh, then go for it. Especially if you think he, if you especially if you think he's going to be drafted pretty high and end up, you know, end up being like a perennial all star or something like that. And yeah, that's that's some pretty good value. I don't know any. I don't know if anyone in this class, at least pre-draft, is going to have the same hype that Zion has. So, there's Steve Shizik. So I don't think we're going to see anything like that. But it may take a couple months into the season to really see which which rookies emerge. Matt's asking if anybody bring in anything cool off the street since we opened up. Uh, no, not, not to my knowledge. There's a there's a, f a network of sellers, of of like collectors, buyers, and sellers that Nick has been in touch with for for a few years. That's networked and been there for a few years now. So we have that team, but no, no randos coming in and dropping off some stuff. I know some we've seen some people. I haven't really been paying attention to that actually, but I know that some people have been coming in. With with some stuff, some decent stuff. Nothing super crazy, not yet anyway. Darren, what's up, Joe? I checked your depth chart, and, and Nathan Peterman is the backup to Derek Carr, and Mariota is third on the depth chart. Hope Derek Carr stays healthy. Yeah, I, I do too. I do too. Brendan McKay could be a big, could be a big deal next year. I think you could say that for most teams, though, right, Darren? I mean, how many, how many teams have a quality backup that can just slot right in and, like, what happens if Aaron Rodgers goes down? Josh, if I gave you a hat, I'd, I'd, I'd have to give everyone a break use hat now. No. There's Miguel Cabrera. Decades best. Aaron, if Aaron Rodgers goes down, that's not a good. That's not a good backup. Cut up this. Cut up this hoodie. Kind of like this hoodie. I don't think I'm cutting up this hoodie. All right. One and a half boxes to go in this Tops update. There's Drew Brutera for the Rockies. <laughs> Do it for the hobby.
Uh, maybe eventually we'll have some break. We we had a hit list promo where we gave away a bunch of hats. We'll, we'll start giving some hats away here and there and some group breaks. Keep an eye out for that, Josh. And you can join a break and try to try to end up with a maybe end up with a hat. You want to see other breakers break some Jaspie's curated hitboxes? I don't know. Why would we give it to them when we can do it? Break used hat? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could, I could wear one of the well if we give away a hat I could wear one during during that break and then it'd be a break use hat. There's another R Zarania. All those will add up for uh for Barry Roberts who got randomized the Rays with a spot he bought straight up. And you'll get all the ones I miss. I don't think I've missed any yet, but if I've if I've missed any you'll get those too. Franchise out, expand the business. Mm. We'd rather just keep all the uh, keep all that here for now. Anyway, I feel like there's different expectations, and we got to hear everyone, all the other breakers, try to give us feedback about our products. If we do it ourselves, well, that way we don't have to answer to anybody. People are like, hey, Josh, we should go public. And then I have to pay. Then I have to answer to you guys, stockholders. What's the deal with that? Hey, you should do it this way. You should do it that way. Everyone's got like some opinion. It's like, no, we got it. We're fine for now. And we don't want to push. Listen, if a breaker reached out to us and said, hey, we want some of your stuff. That'd be great, but then I don't want to have to reach out to breakers and try to sell them our product. Hey, you want our, you want our stuff? If there's overwhelming demand from breakers that reach out to us, then maybe we think about it, but we don't want to push it on them. Unsolicited. Not to say that we'll never do it, but I don't think that's on the drawing board right now. Yeah, and believe it or not, our our our, <laughs> our staff is not not as large as you think it is. It does take a while to to build that kind of product out, to expand, to scale up, to selling it to other places too that'd be a little difficult at the moment there's Eric Thames to 300 nah, I'd, I, oh man should I, should, I, should, I, should we give away some mixtapes I don't think I could even where would I even find a cassette tape or a some sort of machine that will record that cassette tape Bro, you were talking to a recording device. We're talking about cassette tapes, wise guy. USB, what did, I'm talking about actual tapes. Let's make it, I'm talking about actual tapes. That's two out of five, Shogo Akiyama, that's a train whistle. That goes to Derek.
Derek Riley, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Two out of five. Nice. Yeah, most of those TikTok kids have never seen it today. Imagine their minds would be blown. I'll show them a rotary phone. Is anyone even going to be able to play those tapes? Exactly, Prim. <laughs> that's how that's how hipster it would be. Be like, I got a mixtape from Jaspies. I don't even know where do I put this. How do I even play this? Yeah, Frank McKenzie. Wheel out the old 1995 Civic. Pop that tape in there. Corey Dickerson, there's an autograph in the last hobby box. Corey Dickerson auto for the fish? Yeah, for the Marlins. That goes to, when did Corey Dickerson go to the Marlins? Wasn't he a pirate, Frank? Frank has the Marlins. They can't all be Luis Roberts in there, Josh. Jeez. <laughs> you, know, you gotta reel in those expectations a little bit. Reeling in the years, throwing away the time. I put that on the playlist. I put some Steely Dan on the playlist. Oh, come on, Eric. What if Corey Dickerson's watching? Sorry, Corey. Those guys got the Eric and Josh are meanies, blue meanies from Yellow Submarine. Sorry, Corey. What if, what if like his mom is watching? Mama Dickerson's watching. Be like, come on, guys, it's my son. Yeah, we try to keep things fun here. Town cards. Not to be confused with the town car, but the town cards. All right, let's clean up this area a little bit here. Let's move this out of the way. These will all be sleeved and top loaded. Let's keep that right here for now. All right, jumbo time. Let's move this. Out of the way, I'll do an autograph recap and sort of other card recap on this. Jumbo! With Tyler Stevenson. Jumbo! All right, so here's the first two jumbo boxes with the extra packs here as well. Thanks, Prim. Yeah, we, we'd like to have a little fun with our breaks. We keep things pretty loose and chill here. So I'm glad you guys are at least being somewhat mildly entertained during this uh, doubleheader break. Thanks for joining this doubleheader break. All right, we got an autograph. Shed Long on card auto for the Mariners. Frank with the M's. Those here. Slide that back there. So the jumbo boxes, one autograph and two relic cards in every hobby jumbo box. Yeah, we will, Josh. We'll, we will. 
can't can't sleep everything. So we're already an hour and twenty minutes into this. Thanks, Matt. All right, and there's Derek Jeter with his own patch right there. 20 years of the captain. I'm the captain now. Yankees, by the way. Who's that again? Yankees. That goes to Frank. Ty Francis to uh, 220. There's another Kyle Lewis there. All those Kyle Lewises add up, Franklin. Oh, it doesn't fit into any of the bags? Um, really? Well, that's Nick. Yeah, yeah, that's Nick. We might, we might have a, a, a larger team bag somewhere that you can put that in. Oh, where he's holding a jersey? Damn. Well, we'll we're gonna we'll we'll have our shipping team look at the codes on the back um, to make sure all the variations get pulled. I've been trying to catch as catch as many as possible. Maybe we'll find another one. I guess not. It's kind of annoying. There's Jose Altuve, all-star. I thought they'd be flipped around like in the hobby versions to make the SP short print spying a little bit more easier. Carlos with the Strohs. Usually they're doing something Usually they're doing something wacky in a variation, you know what I mean? Because most of them are, they're throwing, they're hitting, you know? Or it's an all-star insert or something like that, right? There's Kenley Jansen to 220. But then the variation, they're usually carrying something or holding something, pulling something carrying a bag or something like that. 
think in the case of yeah, Amber saying holding a jersey. Another one. So the Bichette short print is just the back of his jersey. Is that what you're saying? Let's have to look out for that too. There are codes on the back, these tiny little codes on the back that our shipping team will be kind of keeping an eye out for while they're sorting. That's why it takes like a little bit of an extra day or two to get this uh, sorted properly and shipped out. We appreciate everyone's patience on the shipping of these. It will not be the usual lightning quickness. You see two relics back to back. Is that a bonus? Carlos Correa. Or is that the is that relic one and two of this jumbo box? 2017 All-Star going to Carlos for Carlos. There you go, Carlos. And then a Christian Yelich for the Brew Crew. That's going to go to Kyle Olsen and the Brewers. I know we we made we may need to have a magnifying glass for uh, for our shipping team actually. And here's our autograph. Yes, Sean Maneev, one eleven out of one ninety nine for the A's. Anthony with that one. Real time, what's going on? Did you know that J.K. Rowling is the first author in the world to have a net worth of a billion dollars? Frank McKenzie doesn't need a magnifying glass. He uses a monocle to look at the codes. Yeah, like Mr. Peanut or, or, the, or the, the Monopoly Man, maybe. What, did, what was that? Whatever came of the Monopoly Man being... Dead? Did they bring him back? <laughs> you guys remember that? Oh, that felt different. Yeah, this has a, a matte back right there, not glossy. That's to 99. That's Peter Lambert for The Rocks, Danny Cochran with that. Mr. They they had killed off Mr. Peanut, and then Mr. Peanut, did he come back, or did he not, or he came but he was like reincarnated as a baby Peanut. Mr. Peanut's dead. Is Mr. Peanut still dead? Yes, yeah, baby Peanut. So there's just a new baby. Yeah, he oh. hit it and then he died. Wow, poor kid, growing up without a father. It's tough for. for yeah. Oh right, Michael Craig. Fun fact: Monopoly Man doesn't have a monocle. That that's right. I said he had a monocle. That is false. That's the Mandela effect. Man, I I got got. Mr. Peanut died in a car accident. Poor Mr. Peanut. So maybe Baby Peanut will turn into like Bruce. Actor Wesley Snipes and Matt Walsh. <laughs> The Nutmobile. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm 12. Um, you, you think you think baby baby Peanut will turn into like Bruce Wayne and be like a superhero and fight crime? We got to clean up this city. Why? Swear to me. I'm Batman. Monopoly Man's name is Rich Uncle Pennybags. Oh, sorry about that. 
<laughs> yeah, the peanut guys are like, why did our search history spike last night? We got more clicks on the website, you guys. It's all because because Jaspi's case breaks was just talking about peanuts again. Talking about how Mr. Peanut died. I guess that was a good ad campaign after all. We're still talking about it. Gone forever. 10 out of 69. Nice. Mike Montgomery for Dom and the Royals. Racking them up, Barry Roberts. Racking up all the Aras Aranias. Now the next step, I think, would be it'd be worth, you know, maybe sending in all of those Aras Aranias to get graded. You know, maybe you stumble into a, a couple, a couple PSA tens, and then, um, you know, and if he keeps, if he continues to to be what he was in the playoffs. Then be great if you get a if you get them graded now they might be available by the time spring training starts or by the time the season starts. Uh, no, Ryan, we 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 allowed uh, we decided to let Teddy have a dinner break. These are cool. Look at that. There's Sean Murphy. These are these are like patches. Can you iron these on to? Can I iron this onto my my hoodie sleeve right here? That's Sean Murphy. That's pretty cool. That goes to Anthony and the A's. These are trading cards. What's this? I think this is the same one. And it's another A. Jesus Lazardo. Actually, maybe I should just keep that backing there too. It is kind of crazy. These are all just regular cards, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you can you can iron those on one on each arm. It looks like they can be ironed on, right? I'm not sure. Sorry, camera. All right. Yeah, I think Sean Jaspi showed showed me like a picture of one of those. Those cloth patch cards last night. It's kind of wild. There's a Ron Hell Ravello to 99. Wow, that's right, Prim. Collect the entire cloth. Like, what, what, I don't even know what they called them officially. One exclusive 2020 Tops baseball patch inside an actual like patch. Yeah. Collect all of them, put them all on one jacket. Uh, I, you would be the coolest kid on the block, I think. Put it on a, on a nice, uh, 
on a nice like Levi's jean jacket. I'd, I'd get a Levi's denim jacket, put all the patches out of this particular product in there. Jordan will go to the Astros, Carlos, and just wear that all the time. I think you'd be the coolest kid on the block. Two more jumbos. Here's a jumbo. And here's another jumbo. It's only a 50 patch set. That might be kind of easy to collect. Oh, now you're talking town cards. Put it on put a put it on a Gucci jean jacket. Give it to some musician to wear it in a music video. Hundred thousand dollar price tag. All right, no worries, Matt. Thanks for hanging in there. I know this is kind of a long break, especially for the East Coast. Ooh, a patch auto coming up. Yeah, now you're talking town card. Maybe maybe like a. Maybe a nice uh, Balenciaga denim jacket. Those are pretty cool. They're pretty nice. Balmain, maybe. Balmain does some good denim work. And there's your patch auto, Zach Gallant. 20 out of 25. Nice one for Chris Welty. And the Arizona Diamondbacks got the Diamondbacks straight up. Ends up with the Zach Gallant patch auto. It's supposed to be pretty good. Supreme Louis Vuitton? I guess I'd, I guess I'd be okay too. More of a Balmain kind of guy, but Louis Vuitton's fine. Nothing against that house, that fashion house. Well, whatever it is, we should get that jacket, put those patches on there. The popularity of sports cards is seeping into uh, is seeping into the consciousness of uh, musicians and actors and whatnot. So we might not be that far off from something like that. Exactly, yeah. Steve Aoki's out of the action. I want to say like Mark Wahlberg's kids. I, someone someone mentioned to me a while ago said that they they were opening up boxes of cards on their social media. So it's uh, it's growing into that that sort of that sort of space into more more mainstream popular culture. So if that's the case, it's not, maybe maybe someone would want a, uh, a high-end jean jacket with baseball card patches on it in some sort of music video. And we got more Yankees right here. Derek Jeter, 20 years of the captain. One of those manufactured patches right there. I have no idea what these go for, but they look cool, though. Frank with the Yankees. All right, second half of this jumbo box. Almost, we're almost there, folks. We're almost there. This was my sleeve and top load pile. Oh, okay, there you go. Save.
And oh, I saw the Mariners logo. I thought that was going to be someone else. Daniel Vogelbach, DH. Although I don't think he's on the Mariners anymore. Maybe they need an update to the update. This goes to the M's. This will be for Frank. Next stack, almost there. Stay on target, almost there. Stay on target. This is Omar Navarez to 2020. Wait, sorry, Ted. I'm I'm overhearing your conversation. Did you you had tires sent to El Tarasco? Well, did you did you put the right city? Yeah, Hermosa. Oh, okay. Because because fourteen o two Hermosa is us, and fourteen o two Redondo Beach is them. He didn't want to help you out with your plight. You should yell at the, the, the place you bought from and be like, what the hell? What about the, 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 the shipping provider? Yell at them. All right. Things happen here, folks. There's Max Kepler. <laughs> if I was a big Max Kepler fan, i just put this right here. I feel like you can just iron this right on. That goes to the Twins. That'll be for Frank. Frank, you would be the coolest kid on your street. You'd be the coolest kid on your street if you had a Max Kepler patch like right there. Yeah, it's not not too bad, right? The quality, Josh? Yeah, not too, not too bad. Yeah, the Jumbotron gives it kind of a refractory look. Nah, yeah, unfortunately. Frank, are you going to do that? What are you going to do with your... Tell, tell us what you're going to do with that patch. Another Jumbo box here. Got two more. To, one more right here. Two more to go on the table, and then we're done. And we've got an autograph, Jose Canseco. Anthony. That's to 199. Jose, can you see? What would you do with that Acuna patch, Eric? Put that on a uh, right, right there on your chest, right on a hoodie. Iron that on. Iron that baby on. Like who would have that? No one would have that. No kid on the block would have that. No one at your place of employment would have that. No one at your school would have that. If you rock that, you'd be like, "Whoa, is that an Acuna patch hoodie?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure is." Oh, there! Now you're talking, Prim. Put an Acuna patch on an Acuna jersey. Ooh! Even if it doesn't iron on, you might be able to just sew that baby right on. And people will be like, "What's that? Is that an Acuna cloth patch on on your Acuna jersey?" Be like, "Yeah, yes, yeah, sir." Maybe on a hat. You can put this on the side of a. Is that on the Jaspie hat or something like that? Thank you. 
Uh, Teddy Jaspi will be back on Instagram Live shortly. I think he's wrapping up his dinner. At Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram Live. This this right here is my last break of the night. This will probably take us right to the end of the show. It will take us to the end of the show. Um, it's Gavin Lux right there too. But Ted should be live for a little bit longer uh, than me. So go check him out and get into the Instagram action. Instagram Live at Jaspies Breaks. If you subscribe, I think you'll get notifications on every time they're live. For some reason, I only just started getting those notifications back for Instagram Live. They were not there before, but something must have changed, and now I get those notifications again, so it seems kind of sporadic. But just check your Instagram every once in a while, and then you'll see the little live circle, live logo happening here. Why am I putting Kyle Lewis in there? I don't need to put Kyle Lewis in here. My take on pork rinds, Josh? I, I don't eat them. I am, but I, I don't dislike them, I guess. I guess my, sorry, it's not a very good answer. I, don't, I think I'm neutral on pork rinds. Neutral, leaning, leaning no. That's not my go-to snack of choice. There's Alfonso Soriano with the Derek Jeter patch. They're keto, so you're a fan. I don't, I don't know what that is, but, but I think it's something diet and nutrition related. Uh, more for the Yankees. I think was Soriano the last guy to get closest to a 40-40 season? We got Jose Barrios, All Star Relic. I, I, I don't know what I, I mean. I know of it. I know keto as some sort of nutrition diet thing, but I, I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. Like what makes that different from? Yeah, <laughs> Josh's like you're in Hermosa Beach. You got you got to know this. Yeah, no, Frank's, Frank knows me, yeah. I know about avocado toast and mimosas. There you go, Frank. I'm that kind of Hermosa Beach. Or Santa, I live in Santa Monica, but I'm that kind of West LA or <laughs> South Bay. -er. Although I just make my own avocado toast at home. I'm not paying $15 for an avocado toast. That's ridiculous. I just make that at home. I make a good avocado toast. Yeah, no, seriously, thank you, Josh. I'm running out of material today. I've run out of material. I've run out of interesting content for this break. All right, let's see what what other kinds of patches we can put on our on our imaginary denim jacket after we go through these mojo cards. There's Reese Hoskins to 150. Well, Josh, are you going to tell me what keto is or just going to just going to not not continue that? Are we done with the keto now? That was your cue to tell me what it is. All right, there's Raphael Devers. That's a cool patch to, to put right there, too. It's 
a kind of a neat idea. Gotcha. It's no carbs, high fat. Designed originally to combat seizures, but now used for health and weight loss. Don't you need some kind of carbohydrate, though? All right. One jumbo. Two jumbos. No, Josh is saying no. Keto does not incorporate intermittent fasting. When you don't have cardio, your body goes to keto ketosis. Therefore, you're using fats. You're maybe replacing replacing carbs altogether. What happens when you run out of fat? Then, oh, I see. You're saying no to you don't need carbs. What happens when you run out of fat? There's Zach another Zach Gallon autograph. This time, baseball stars autograph. Forty eight out of fifty. That goes to Chris Welty. <laughs> there is one lonely card left out there in the cart. I think you're right. <laughs> Just <laughs> is that Mike? It says Phillies. Looks like Mike Schmidt from here. Poor Mike Schmidt. Which will, of course, go to the Phillies. That'll be for Courtney. Poor Mike Schmidt. We wouldn't leave him behind. Does that count as a stroke? I don't know if you guys are watching. I have five sports center on. Sergio Garcia hit a golf ball into a tree that got stuck in a tree. I don't play golf, so I don't I don't know the rules. But if you if it gets stuck in a tree and he knocked it out, is that a is that a stroke though? Don't know. Probably. He must get some sort of penalty for that, right? Or maybe it is a penalty. And then just knocking out of the tree is like, is like where you drop it. And then he jumped out of that tree. That's dangerous too. Is that a be a variation right there? That's for the Padres. That'll be for Jeff. Yeah, 
And another Derek Jeter patch with Derek Jeter this time. Got a George Springer relic for the Strohs. That's going to be for Carlos. Anyone have a have a 5G phone on a 5G network? And how how much faster is it? And there's Juan Soto, 20 out of 25. Orange, Mojo, Washington, Courtney Bishop. There you go. Juan Soto, he's pretty good. Mike Trout's pretty good too. Oh, and the cloth, the cloth patch. It's Pete, Pete Alonzo. That's for Derek Riley and the Metropolitans. Nice. That would also look good on a. Would that also look on a Pete Alonzo jersey? All right, wow. Here we are. Here we are, folks. Hour and 55 minutes into the break. We are in our last jumbo box. Uh, the recap video is going to be, we're going to do a separate video for the recap. So people don't have to wait for this two-hour video to load. There's Brett Gardner banging on the, the rooftops of dugouts. RTR saying stroke of bad luck. Not sure what that's in reference to. Bobachette, maybe I missed something. It's going to be more than two monster boxes? It's wild. Oh, no one has 5G, huh? All right. Allegedly, it's a lot faster. That's what the commercials tell me.
pretty good. Oh, and we got an Oscar Mercado on card autograph for the tribe. William with the Indians. Another Randy Arzarania. Definitely, definitely running out of steam here, folks. That's kind of wild. Russell Wilson has never received an even MVP vote. Seems wild to me. And our final relic is another Derek Jeter with his own commemorative patch, 20 years of the captain, Derek Jeter. Let's see what we got in these hobby exclusive packs right here. I think they just call them silver packs because of the silver backs of them. Zach Gallon right there. And the last patch for our denim jacket. Our last denim jacket patch is a Rocky. It's Nolan Arenado. That goes to the Rocks. Danny Cochran with that. And there you go, boys and girls. We did it. The recap video will be in a separate video. That was Jaspie's 18 box double header. Uh, break of 2020 Tops Update Baseball. A hobby case and a jumbo case mashed into one here on this Friday night. Thank you very much for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. See you next time. Bye.